So now that we have our eyelashes, I'm going to go ahead and click on that layer, lock it so that we can't make any changes, and turn off the visibility. I'm going to click on the eye layer. I'm going to context click it and choose duplicate layer. And then I'm going to go ahead and lock the original eye layer and turn off the visibility so that we don't lose that as well. Then I'm going to come up here to this new eye layer. I'm going to come up and change the composite method back to default. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on that layer to change it to have a stroke. But we're going to make the width of the stroke very tiny. I'm going to take it all the way down to zero. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tap it a few times until we get to 0.1. And I'm going to hit OK. So we have a very, very fine stroke on this shape now. I'm going to go ahead now and lock that shape because we don't need that shape to be changed for the immediate future here. And I'm going to come over here to our oval shape tool. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to click and drag out to create a perfect circle. And I can use the layer adjuster tool and click on the actual stroke to move this into place. Now, if that's not precisely where you want it to be, once you've started moving it, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge it into place like so. So maybe that will be more appropriate. Now what I want to do is I want to context click on this oval and I want to duplicate that layer like so. And this one we're going to want to scale. So we're going to use the layer adjuster tool, hold down shift and click on one of the corners and drag it down so that it stays a perfect circle but it gets much, much smaller. Now what we want to do is we want to align these two oval threes. So I'm going to go ahead and shift click to select both layers at once. I'm going to come up to effects, objects, align and choose center and middle to align these guys directly to each other. Hit OK and now you can see that they're 100% aligned to each other. Now I feel like the center one is maybe too small or the outer one is too big so maybe I'll go ahead and I'll adjust that center one a little bit. So I'll hold down shift and make sure that it stays a perfect circle and then I'll just go ahead and make sure that I select both those layers, go back up to effects, objects, align, center, middle, hit OK. And yeah, that's a little bit better for what we're trying to do here. Now, you'll notice that we have this sort of refreshing issue on the screen. If you need to, all you need to do is just go ahead and hold down the space bar and then just move your screen and those types of things will go away very quickly. So now I want to rename these layers. So I'm going to go ahead to the outer oval here and I'm just going to double click on it and I'm going to call this one outer. Hit OK. And then I'll just double click on this one and call this one. Oh, see if I can spell enter properly. There we go. Enter like so. And then I'm going to move them in a layer stack to refresh the names, like so. So what I want to do is I want to lock the inner because we're not going to be working with that immediately. So that the only thing that's unlocked right now is our outer. And I want to go ahead and double click on this and make that stroke really fine too, down to zero, and then tap it a few times to bring it to 0.1 and hit OK. Now I want to grab the magnifying tool and I'm going to zoom all the way in on one of these intersection points. So I'm at 1600%, which is the maximum zoom. I want to go under our shape selection tool, you'll find the scissors. What I want to do is I want to click as close as I possibly can on the intersection between those two shapes, like so. So you can see I've created a new point right there. Now I'm going to grab the space bar and I'm going to move over and I'm going to continue doing that exact same thing on all four intersection points, like so. Now if I come back over to my shape selection tool, I can begin to, as you can see here, we have now four outers. So if I click on each of the outers to find out which one it is I'm working with, I want to get rid of these ones that are on the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and say delete that layer. And then I'm going to go ahead and hold down spacebar and we'll go up to the top here. And it looks like, yeah, this one right here is that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that layer as well. So now we've got these two sides the outer and the outer for each side. And we want to come back now to this eye copy that we made. We want to clip it too with the scissors. So I'm going to go ahead and lock these two layers because we don't want to change those now that we've, we've cut those. But I want to unlock the eye. And then I just want to go back up here and get my scissors. And I want to click like so to cut that. And then we're going to come over with the space bar. And we're going to continue to do the same thing. So boom. And Boom, and boom, like so. And if we come up to our shape selection tool, you can see now that we have a bunch of eyes like we did with the others. And you can see that those are the outer edges. We don't need those, so we're just gonna delete those. And then I think this is gonna be the other outer edge, so I'm just gonna hold down the space bar, move over to see that. No, 
it's that one, so I'm going to delete that. So you can see that these points don't absolutely line up with each other. So what we need to do is we need to unlock these two outers so that both of the eyes and both of the outer segments are now free to be moved around. And then we just need to go ahead and control Z. I didn't mean to do that. Click and drag a marquee around both points so that both points on these two separate shapes are selected. Then go up to Shapes menu and say Average Points. And we want to average both and then hit OK. And that'll bring them directly on top of each other. And then what we want to do is we want to drag that marquee over those, both those points again, go up to Shapes and say Join Endpoints. And what that'll do is that'll bring those shapes together. Now I'm going to use the space bar, come over, and I'm going to do the same on all four corners. So I'm going to drag that marquee like so, get both those points selected, say Average Points both, drag that marquee over it again so that they're selected, say shapes, join endpoints like so. And then we're going to go ahead and use the space bar, come up here like so, select both those with the marquee, come over here, say average points, both, then create another marquee, make sure we got those selected, say join endpoints, and then we're going to come over here and we're going to do this final corner like so. So we're going to say shapes, average points, both, and then select those shapes, join endpoints. And now what we have is just one single shape. And we know that we have one single shape because now if I come over here and double click on it and turn off that stroke, turn on a fill, and we'll just make the opacity full on, and I'll turn on a, a thicker stroke here, something like say 2.1, that'll do just fine for the sake of seeing this. And now if I zoom out, by holding down control and tapping minus a few times, you can see that we have the outer shape of that eye. And now if we bring back the visibility of some of these other shapes that we can see, we see that we now have a very complex illustration beginning to take place by simply using these shape tools. And we'll continue on with this in the next lesson.